Tonight, a first look at the desperate struggle to save an 11 year old girl. Oh my God, is somebody trapped inside the car? Trapped after a tree fell on the car while she was helping her mother unload. At least six victims of a fierce storm that moved through in minutes, cutting a path of destruction. All hell broke loose, you know, and, uh, and this is what happened and stuff. This blew off the roof right in front of me. Entire neighborhoods cut off. I had to crawl under about four or five trees. That's how bad it was. To get to your house? Literally crawl under trees to get to the house. It's like a nuclear bomb went off. Oh! So many trees down, Jay Murphy had to carry his sick child. There was no other way out. I think we're going to be out of power like three nights probably. And tonight, lines for gas are growing. As for some, supplies run short. And this is one of those neighborhoods that is still cut off as they're working to clear the roads. The National Weather Service is confirming this was an EF2 tornado here. Winds of 110 miles an hour. They also detected a tsunami off the coast of New Jersey, Lester. So this is a storm nobody is going to forget. Well, that explosive eruption coming from Kilauea Volcano just after 4 o'clock this morning. I'm standing here just outside Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and Civil Defense has confirmed to us that explosive eruption has happened, and there is a potential for people as far as Kau and as far as Hilo to feel the impacts of that massive ash plume, which at last check was rising about 30,000 feet in the air. Again, that ash Ash plume drifting southwest at last check towards Kau, but again, communities as far as Hilo could experience ash plumes and dusting in that area. So an advisory to anyone living around the crater, anyone living southwest Kau, and even as far as Hilo, drive with caution because driving conditions could be hazardous. Again, standing here just outside of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, we have confirmed that that explosive eruption has happened. However, civil defense tells me this is not the big one, the steam driven explosion that we are expecting. So again, more explosions and more eruptions are likely and will be. Raging flood waters in Wanganga village, Taveta, Sub County. In Taraka, people from the same family died after they were struck by lightning in Kamujwa village on Friday, while one person was swept away by flood waters in Manyata, Kisumu County. The meteorological department says the heavy rains are expected to continue in Mount Kenya region and has asked the residents to be vigilant, especially in landslide prone zones. I'm not going nuts. You guys can all hear this. This is not normal. Bring who I can. I can't. I'm in the rain. No, it's definitely not gunfire, Dave. If you listen, you can hear like something. Um, it's like it's something metal going in a circle. And then hear it? <laughs> 